Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I did these picture letters. So if you are interested, please stay tuned and let's get on with the video. Okay, so aside from your Cricut items, computer and printer, you'll need a tile or any other surface you wanna place your project on. You will need transfer tape. This is clear transparent vinyl where I will seal my photos. And here is a label sheet, sticker sheet of a white glossy paper for my photos. Of course, all the details will be in the description below. We'll go ahead and go into our Cricut design space, click on new, and I'll go ahead and start with my template. I am doing a dad tile, so I'll change this to 11.75 by 2.95. I'll go ahead and just lock this, change my color, and we have our template. I will be using a font, it is called Impact. And I will be typing in Daddy. I'll go ahead and just adjust this. Kind of get an idea. Something like that will work. So now we can go ahead and add our photos. And I went ahead and airdropped them into my Mac. So here they are. And I'll have to go one by one, unfortunately, to add it into Cricut Design Space. We have that here. I'll go ahead and click on a complex. I'm not erasing anything, so I'll just click on continue. You will do print, then cut, and upload. Once it's uploaded, it will show right here, and we'll go ahead and do that to the rest of our photo. So once again, I'll click on Upload, a Browse, I'll click on the next photo, I'll choose Complex, Continue. Again, we're not erasing anything, so I'll click on Continue again. And we'll go ahead and save again as a Print Then Cut image. So then we have these two. I'll go ahead and um, do the rest of the photos real quick and be back okay so once we have all of our photos it will be down here we'll go ahead and just click on all of them Oops. and click on insert so once all the photos have been added it should look a little something like this I'll go ahead and just make this a little smaller and I will size this down just like that. And then I'll go ahead and make it bigger. Okay. So then it should look something like that. I'll go ahead and just start making the pictures a little bit smaller. Okay, so we have our photos here. I'll go ahead and grab my text, bring it down here. I'll click on ungroup. And here you'll just go through the photos and kind of see where they fit best behind the letter. You wanna make sure that all faces are covered. Just like this, perfect example. The whole letter is in the picture. So I'll go ahead and do that with the rest of the photos. Oops. Okay, so it should look a little something like this. I don't need these photos, so I'll get rid of them. And I'll go ahead and select the photo and the letter, just like this, and click on Slice. We'll go ahead and remove that letter, and then take a look at it. That looks good, so I'll get rid of this. I'll do this to the next one. I'll go ahead and slice it. Take a look at it. That looks good, but if you were to mess up, you can just go back. 
three times and readjust it to your liking. And again, select both and slice. Just like this, get rid of what you don't need and I'll go ahead and do this to the rest of the photos. Okay, so it should look a little something like this. I'll go ahead and get them as close and aligned as possible. And then I'll select them all, click on align and center vertically, and also align and distribute horizontally. It should look something like this. I still think the letters are a little too far apart, so I'll just make them closer to each other doing this all right once i like how that looks i'll go ahead and select all our group it and i'll add it up here to my template to get the correct sizing let me select both and center so it should look a little something like this you can go ahead and leave it like this and cut it this way um, but I've, I've also done it where i'll let me just change the font here um, where you can add a date. I'll go add um, this 1992, I believe. <laughs> um, then I'll go ahead and just ungroup it, make this a little closer to each other. And then I'll go ahead and group it back and size it. So you can go ahead and add it maybe to like the corner. You don't have to do this, this is optional. I've done it a couple times. Customers like it, you don't have to, but um, for this example, I'll go ahead and remove it. So I will just be doing this as my project. And now we are ready to print and cut. So I will go ahead and remove my templates. I'll make sure that this is attached. So it does not move and I will click on make it and get ready to print. Okay, so then it takes you here. This is what you want it to look like with this border around. So we'll go ahead and click on continue. You will send it to printer. I always add a bleed and click on use system dialog. My printer is the 5000 series. I'll go ahead and click on print and a print dialog pops up you want to change your quality to best and change your paper type to photo glossy paper just for the best results and you will click on print and i will meet you guys at my printer it should look something like this Okay, so once that has been printed, I'll go to my knob here and I'm going to change this to Cardstock Plus. So once that has been printed and you change your knob, we are now at Cardstock Plus and we can go ahead and load our materials and get to cutting. I'll meet you guys in our Cricut. So before I start cutting, I want to make sure that I seal my photos. So I'll go ahead and tape down my page so it does not move. I'll go ahead and grab my clear vinyl and size it. Make sure that it fits inside of that border, just like that. And then I'll go ahead and just peel it back a little. It helps me when I'm placing it down. Then I'll grab that piece that I peeled back and this is how I use it to help me. I'll just seal that down there. I'll grab my squeegee and this is how I seal my photos. This has been the best method for me to prevent bubbles when I'm placing it down. Once that is complete, I'll go ahead and put my page on my mat to get ready to cut. Okay, and sometimes when it is scanning your page, you get this print and cut error. I always get this print and cut error and I hate it. 
So let's try a couple things to fix this, okay? I'll go ahead and click on cancel. If you did not know, the Cricut machine has a very hard time reading over glossy, shiny paper. So we are using this first method where we are grabbing a Sharpie and outlining that same border. I have done this on previous projects and it does not work. So when I tried it again for this project, I was actually upset that it worked because I wanted to go through all of the methods that you can use. Um, but don't worry, I will still show you what you can do if that does happen. But once it is cut, it should look something like this. The second method would be for you to grab some matte tape and placing it over your entire black border just like this. This method has never worked for me, but maybe it can work for you. This next method is a method that I always end up having to use. I would go ahead and just print the exact same thing on a matte piece of paper. I would cut the inside where the only thing that's showing is the black outside border. And then I would place that second copy on top of the first one, tape it down, and have the machine read it off of the matte page. Once our machine has cut it, we'll go ahead and remove the letters out. I'm not sure why I struggled so much. Normally they cut all the way through, but I'll go ahead and remove all of the letters so it can look something like this. You wanna make sure that the insides, everything is removed, and then we'll go ahead and place that cut page back to our Cricut mat, align it, and then place our letters back in, just because this helps me keep my letters aligned. So once I am done, it looks something like this. I'll go ahead and press down and remove that extra. As you can see, it is keeping my letters straight just how they need to be versus me fighting and trying to make them straight myself. I'll go ahead and grab my transfer tape and I like to use the end of it to also make sure that it is aligned and straight. We'll go ahead and put some pressure on it and remove it from the mat just like this. You'll go ahead and clean your tile and this is where you start with the placement of your letters. Grab a ruler, double check that everything is centered measure the size, the bottom, the top. And once you like how it looks, go ahead and really put pressure on that first part right there. That first part is what's gonna help you keep it aligned. And then we'll go ahead and start removing the backing off of our letters just like this. And go ahead and grab your squeegee and put pressure on there. We'll go ahead and do the same thing. With the rest of the letters, I like to go um, one by one just to make sure that it stays aligned. All right, so we are down to our last letter. We'll go ahead and just to double check, put pressure on the whole thing and remove that transfer tape very slowly. Okay guys, and here is the finale. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something, you enjoyed it. I have also attached some of the other designs that I have done. Please feel free to take a look at them, get some ideas. If you guys have any questions, reach out to me. Don't hesitate. And if you learned something like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thank you guys so much and have a great one.